friends welcome to sanket group of coaching i am sanket purohit today we are going to see chapter number 8 part 2 maria sharapova <clears throat> so before we read first of all a russian girl maria sharapova reached the summit of women's tennis summit means a uh, longest peak we can say the of women tennis when she was barely 18 means when she was just an 18 year old girl wo <clears throat> already ek superstar ban chuki thi as you read about her see if you can draw a comparison between her and santosh yadav maria sir to iska matlab ye hai ki maria sharapova's story of success as she become the top seeded women tennis player in the world motivates us she overcame all the hurdles and bore humiliation too in order to achieve her dream maria's hunger for success and her competitive spirit kept her going now let us begin with our explanation and chapter here it is there is something disarming about maria sharapova something at odds with her ready smile and glamorous attire and that something in her lifted her on monday 22nd august 2005 to the world number 1 position in women's tennis all the all this happened in almost no time poised beyond her years the siberian born teenager took just 4 years as a professional to reach the pinnacle now something some difficult words so what is disarming disarming means liking and at odds at odds with means in conflict with poised poised ka matlab hota hai calm elegant and pinnacle pinnacle ka matlab hota hai the most successful person okay or you can say the most successful point so what this paragraph want to say is there is some quality in contrast to maria sharapova sorry sharapova's smile and glamour which makes her likable it is the quality that helped her achieve success as she attained world number 1 position in women's tennis on monday 22nd august 2005 Maria's calmness and elegance is beyond her age. She was born in Siberia, Russia, and as a teenager, she took only four years of training to become the top seeded woman in tennis. Okay, now next paragraph. So she she is Maria Sharapova. <clears throat> Then second paragraph. However. The rapid ascent in a fiercely competitive world began nine years before. With her level of sacrifice, few children would be prepared to endure. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her tenth birthday when she was packed off to a train in the birthday, sorry, in the United States. The trip to Florida with her father Yuri launched her on the path to success and stardom. but it also required heart wrenching two year separation from her mother gelena the latter was compelled to stay back in siberia because of visa restrictions the 9 year old girl had already learned an important lesson in life that tennis excellence would come would only come at a price now certain difficult words now what do you mean by rapid rapid means very fast then ascent ascent is nothing but growth then word endure endure means suffer patiently and heart wrenching heart wrenching is nothing but extremely sad now what does this para wants to say the fast growth of her career started 9 years ago when she made a big sacrifice which can be made by very few children at at that young age she had not even turned 10 when she went to sorry she was sent to florida usa with her father for training in tennis her father name was yuri okay she was extremely sad as she had to spend 2 years separation from her mother yelena so her mother's name was yelena maria's mother was forced to stay back in siberia because she did not have the permit to travel to us at the tender age of 9 Maria learned that in order to excel at tennis she would have to make many sacrifices okay now third paragraph 
I used to be so lonely, Maria Sharapova recalls. I missed my mother terribly. My father was working as much as he could to keep my tennis training going. So he could not see me either. So what she recollects is, Maria recollects that she used to remain alone and missed her mother a lot. Her father worked hard to fetch money for her needs and so he also could not meet her. Next, because I was so young, I used to go to bed at 8 p.m. The other tennis pupils would come in at at 11 p.m. and wake me up and order me to tidy up the room and clean it. So Maria was very young and so she would go to sleep at 8 p.m. The other students would return at 11 and would wake her up ordering her to clean the room. Next, instead of letting that depress me, I became more Quietly de determined and mentally tough. I learned how to take care of myself. I never thought of quitting because I knew what I wanted. When you come from nothing and you have nothing, then it makes you very hungry and determined. I would have put up with much more humiliation and insults than to steady fast, sorry, steadfastly pursue my dream. Now, certain difficult words. Depress. Depress means sadden. Quite quitting. Quitting means leaving and pursue. Pursue means follow. Now what this paragraph want to say, Ma Maria did not get depressed by all this. Instead, she became determined and mentally tough. She took care of herself. She never thought of leaving the training because she was determined to achieve her aim. When a person has nothing, he craves and becomes determined to get it. She says that she would have won greater humil sorry, humiliation and insults also in order to achieve her dream. Okay, so next paragraph. That toughness run through Maria even today. It was the key to her bagging the woman's singles crown at Wimbledon in 2004 and to her matriotic rise to the world number one spot the following year. The following year means the next year. Now, what do you mean by bagging? Bagging means winning and matriotic means very rapid, very fast. So, what does this paragraph wants to say? Maria retains her determination till present day. This determination led her to grab the woman's singles trophy at Wimbledon's championship in 2004, followed by a rapid climb to the top position in 2005. Next, while her journey from the frozen plains of Siberia to summits of women's tennis has touched the hearts of tennis fans, for the youngsters herself, there appears to be no room for sentiment. The straight looks and the answers she gave, sorry, she gives when asked about her ambition, make it amply clear that she considered that sacrifice were worth it. I am very, very competitive. I work hard at what I do. It's my job. This is her mantra for success. So now what do you mean by ambition? Ambition is nothing but goal. And amply, amply means plentifully. So what, she, what this paragraph wants to say is, tennis fans feels emotional to know about Maria's journey from the frozen region of Siberia, but she is not moved by it. She gives a straight answers when asked about her aims, which imply that she accepts that the hurdles and challenges she faced were worth the result that she got. She adds that she is competitive and works hard as she considered it to be the part of her work. This is Maria's secret for success. Next paragraph. Though Maria Sharapova speaks with a pronounced American accent, she proudly par parodies her Russian nationality. Clearing all doubts, she says, I am Russian. It's true that the US is a big part of my life, but I have Russian citizenship. My blood is totally Russian. I will play the Olympics for Russia if they want me. So, parodies. Parodies means displays. So, what she, what this paragraph wants to say is, Maria's speech, jo thi, unki jo bolne ki style thi, wo American accent a raha tha. But she is proud to be a Russian. She says that USA is big part of her life because she trained there. But in the core of her heart, she is Russian. She holds the citizenship of Russians. Russia, 
Her ancestors are Russians and she is willing to represent Russia at Olympics as well. Next, like any number of teenage sensation, Maria Sharapova list fashions, fashion, singing and dancing as her hobbies. She loves reading the novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. Her fondness for sophisticated evening gowns appears at odds with her love of pancakes with chocolate spread and fizzy orange drinks. Now, this is something about her hobbies. Sophisticated ka matlab kya hota hai? Fashionable. At odds with means in disagreement with and fizzy. Fizzy means aerated. So, ab iska matlab kya hai? Ki ye jo pura paragraph hai, wo unke hobbies, unko kya pasand hai, kya nahi pasand hai, uske baare mein hai. Like other teenagers her age, of her age, Maria's favorite pastime are fashion, singing and dancing. She likes to read novels written by Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes. She likes to wear fashionable evening gowns. Looking at her fit body, it is unbelievable that she likes to eat pancakes with chocolate spreads and drink aerated. Aerated means this is carbon dioxide. Hota hai. Aerated orange flavor drinks. Next, Maria Sharapova cannot be pigeonholed or categorized. Her talent, unwavering desire to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to top of the world. Few would grudge her the riches she is now repaying. This is what she has to say about her monetary gains from tennis. Of course, money is motivation. Tennis is a business and a sport. But the most important thing is to become number one in the world. That's the dream that kept me going. Now, pigeonholed. Pigeonholed ka matlab hota hai classified ya categorized. Unwaving means steady ya firm. And grudge. Grudge ka matlab hota hai oppose. What this entire paragraph wants to say? Maria cannot be put in any particular category. Her talent, urge to succeed and sacrificing nature helped her reach the position, top position in women's tennis. No one will oppose the benefits that she is getting now because she made many, many sacrifices to get them. She says that money does motivate her to work hard, but tennis is both a sport and business. But most important aspect for her was to reach the top sport top spot in women's tennis it was this dream that kept her working further so that's the end of our chapter 8 maria sharapova thank you very much i am sanket purohit if you have gone through this entire chapter please do like comment and subscribe my channel thank you bye bye